Threat for severe storms today that's going to be lining up towards the along and towards the east of Grand Rapids through Holland, Lansing and Kalamazoo our lowest threat for severe weather. Today's outlook is going to project the potential for an isolated severe storm where we could see some strong wind gusts up to 60 miles per hour and potentially even some isolated hail. But as mentioned, this is a very low threat and all the more reason to simply stay weather aware for today. Again, as it when it comes to a severe weather threat when it comes to a severe storm. We need to meet specific criteria in order to see a severe thunderstorm warning. We need to have hail size at least an inch in diameter and the winds need to be at least 58 miles per hour. If we meet at least one of the hail or the wind parameters, then we will see a severe thunderstorm warning. If we do not, if the hail size is a little bit less, maybe half an inch or if the winds are only up to 50 miles per hour, then what that means is it is simply a strong thunderstorm still need to use caution, but it is not specifically under the criteria of severe. Our temperatures right now are in the lower 70s, 72 degrees in Kalamazoo. Winds are coming from the southwest, and that's what's bringing in the heat and humidity. Our temperatures are likely to stay in the lower 70s for the rest of the day, with a few stray showers moving through the area. Later tonight, thunderstorms will develop with an overnight low of 58 degrees in Grand Rapids, 60 in Holland, and 62 degrees tonight in Kalamazoo. Our future track shows that the on and off showers will be likely throughout the rest of our afternoon and evening. I know many of us are gearing up for graduation this evening, so I wanted to show our latest her model. This updates once an hour. It's the most frequently updating model, and that's what's going to give us a better picture of what we could see later on this evening. So a few thunderstorms possible around 6 p.m. Thereafter, we're actually going to stay dry over Grand Rapids, a nice little bubble, hopefully with mostly cloudy skies. Obviously, this is simply a model, but I know with graduation that's moving in for this evening, many of us are very excited and hopeful for the rain to really stay out of the area. By overnight, some storms will develop and that's going to continue into Friday morning as well. Additional storms lining up along and towards the south of I-96 for late in the day on Friday and then drier skies will be settling in for the rest of Saturday. Our Super 7 Day Planner featuring a high temperature of 67 degrees on Friday. We're also going to see about an inch of rainfall plus between today and tomorrow. And as we take a closer look with our Super 7 Day, the heat is really building in. I know that it's typically called the unofficial start of summer. It's going to feel like summer with a daytime high of 86 degrees, 88 on Tuesday and 87 on Wednesday with mostly sunny skies, a stray shower possible on Sunday. Stay tuned to Fox 17 for your latest forecast.